Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds where we are up to talk to Velma Bellard. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, alright? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Take it easy, I'm just looking around. What are you talking about, Catherine? Sorry, seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I've got some bad news about Braxton. Oh no. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? He was killed by cannibals out in the ruins. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Gee up, maybe now you can hire someone better. It's a rotten way to go. You definitely sounded like one. Hmm. Oh, sure. Because Monarch's just teeming with experts in the finer points of Saltuna health. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? What's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to Caleb for you. Why don't you just pay them more? Sure, you can make them come back. Let's talk about something else, the second one. Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Okay. Who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Okay, wait a second. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Okay, why can't you give him his pay increase? They, they are hard workers, aren't they? Don't they deserve something compensation for that? Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Okay, Sonia's gonna notice your short holds be longer and you'll and he'll hold you responsible. Maybe so. But I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, ma'am. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. All right. Fine by me. Then, let us do more talking. The Yacht Club it is. Poor Braxton. Oh yeah, and obviously, um, today, I didn't say it in the last episode, it's gonna be talky, I guess, and obviously... Never worry 
Wait, 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 wait. There I wanna go. Wait, wait, that's it can do that? All it takes is a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day and I've seen it happen. I don't know what's more unsettling. The concept of my ammunition spontaneously combusting with the fact that this is the kind of thing you think about on the regular. Are you finished, girls? Thank you. Hello, Caleb. New face, huh? You from Offworld? Yep. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. What are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. What could you be so bad it made you walk off the job? Won't you get in trouble for that? I don't see how. When Sanjar took over MSI, he tossed all the old corporate rules. We ain't required no more to work whatever job the company demands. Our supervisor Velma goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch. We're free from the board, you know. We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. You need to talk about Velma? Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh, any suggestion for how to put pressure on Valma to negotiate? Valma's threatening to replace you with subclub contractors. Okay, go with the second one. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. Okay, any suggestion? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. What's this? What's this about blackmail now? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Okay. Then we are gonna take a look there. This would be, of course, utterly insane if she... I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. What? Uh-huh. Think they're watching the same scene. has what been said in the conversation when he came of age. That it was something real neat like professional flex. In the conversation before with there's something fishy. Wilderness patrol. Plenty of folk traveling on foot out there, even back when there were roads. I protected them from rats and the like. When there were roads? Can I go somewhere? Aside from wherever they were headed, I mean, ain't nobody around to maintain them anymore. So now they're cracked and crumbled. Monarchs taking its land back. Always too nice to listen to the conversations in order to get some background information here. Okay, how the hell do we get up there? That is a big question. This door cannot be opened. And we ain't gonna get into this building, right? Is there a way in from here, maybe? Whoopsie daisies, that hurt. There is the stash.
Velma seem out of sorts to you? It's always cranky. Okay, I think we are in her office, hopefully. Oops, daisies. The situation with the board puts us in a tough spot, but we need to start thinking about how we are going to keep Stella Bay afloat if we can't get sales up. Okay, I thought something more, to be honest. Okay, we cannot get into there. Alrighty, please enter a name. Files are filled with previous formula. Okay, nothing here. Wellness personal files are Morris of supply contracts, order forms, spreadsheets, and financial records. Carefully study of her financials reveals that for past several years she has been slowly siphoning money from her operating budget into a personal account. Oh my god, the theft is cleverly hidden. Individual instances could be excused as rounding errors or mistakes in simple arithmetic. Is she worrying of occurrences, however, indicates deliberately intent. Holy crap, so um, what I did, I increased our hacking skills a little bit um, in order to get the hacking done. Now let's get back to Caleb. In the end, you know, it's pretty damn ob well, obvious that we needed to side with one of them. And since she actually you ever think about what goes on in a marauder? Did transfer money to a private account oh, yeah. and is not willing to give him a race. I think that was the bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just so and after a while it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Lately though, it ain't pulling. I find my stance much improved. Oh, that's real good to hear. It took me a while to uh never mind. What Girl, have you been touching my stuff? I'm sorry, I should have asked. I just got real bored and I see you leaning and the gun was sitting right there. You know, the last time I caught someone messing with my equipment, I threw them in a sulfur pool. But I appreciate the help. If you want to make modifications, just come ask me, all right? I ain't gonna bite. Okay. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell and revel with us? Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Um, nope. Ah, okay. Oh, crap. Okay, we need to talk to her then. Then I did not... Then I was a little bit off, sorry. For that. Then let's talk to Velma. And not threaten her, but... Let's... Put a pistol on her chest. Sorry, I was, the words were not flying in my head. All right, okay, then we need to go to Tuna thing. I like the buildings. Let's get quickly in and not threaten her, but talk real to her. Hello, Welma. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but 
I'm up to my elbows in salt tuna guts. Who spat in your spirits, Velma? You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. If Caleb wants to keep this job... I saw your accounts, you've been skimming money for years, you can't, you can't afford to pay more. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And what do you think Sanya will say to that? Oh, hello. <laughs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? Nope. Okay, good. Then at least we completed a side quest. I know, no action this episode, but this is fine for me. In my opinion, we even did the right decision. Um, this is what I do like. We don't need action in every episode. And I am aware that I think for the last... Did we have action in the last episode? I don't know. But we have call my episodes where we did do a quest and have no action is good. Why don't you grab a chair? I know. Sure thing. Well, I was... Ah, uh, you've got your... She agreed up to your rages in exchange for my silence. Wait, Velma was... Empestling from... Well, I'll be a Raptodon's dinner. Reckon I ought to listen to gossip more often. Here, take this as compensation. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. All right, good, good, good. That quest gave us a lot of experience points and actually already brought us to the end of this episode. And you know it, you guys. I really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually, this is what we try the next episode if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see ya in the next episode until then if i can actually do it in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye